Hi, 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 hi. Come in, come in, everybody. Come in, come in, come in, everybody. Oh, my Shia, shia, shia. A shati sheba wolo sheri. Wamisi yoto lori shiri shiri. Oroi yoju foto kosta ya. Ito ududu amuko bo. Hey, baby. Kile roe. Omo eko owe wi. Kile roe. Ala eko owe so. Okay, that is it for now. For a call. Mm. Good evening, everybody. This is going to be a very short one. Good evening. I really welcome everybody on board. Ekale, Ekole, Ekaron, Gugbo, Orile, Agbaye, Nibisabate, Bati, Mbuwa. Wherever you're watching us, we say thank you for coming on board. You're on prevailing issues with Ajoke. And your host today is Ajoke. I've had a very long holiday, three weeks offline, and I've had a very long, long holiday, and it was fun for me, had fun in Nigeria. Please help me to share this program. It's about depression. If you see what I've written out there, it's about depression. What can depression do to you? Depression is a mental health issue. A lot of women are going through it, if you don't know. A lot, a lot of women. Of course, men do too go through it, but I'm going to be talking about a, a woman here that has gone through it and what she did to survive it. Um, depression. Um, but it's called depression. What it does to you, it's like it gives you low mood. You understand when you're in depressive mood, it's low mood. You still have you can you can have bipolar, you can have anything under that mental health. But because I am not a professional in that uh, field, I'm going to be bringing in a professional to talk to us about it. Good evening, everybody. Please help me to share. It's about depression. It's really really bad the way we are being stig stigmatized. If you have it, I want us to talk about it. What can you do to help others? A survivor is going to talk to us about it here on my program. Please, please, please help me to share this program. Depression is real. Mental health is real. It's nothing to be ashamed of when you have it. It's nothing to be stigmatized on when you have it. It is real. It can happen to anybody. It can happen to a man. It can happen to a woman. It, it can even happen to children. It depends on what they're going through. So I want us to talk about depression. Kilonje depression. Ba wo ni nyo shen go through it. Talo ti go through every. To fe ba wo bwa wa in your sonny pie. They want to talk about it. If you're here, you want to contribute, you can still contribute. I'm going to bring in a survivor of um, depression. This is a woman in her 50s. She's gone through depression in the past. What she went through, she's, she's going to come onto this program to talk about it. How she survived it, she's going to tell us. How she had helped others that are going through it, she's going to tell us. And if you have any problem that can push you to depression, she's going to tell you, give you a little advice that you can use in um, maintaining your status. Do you understand? So I'm going to bring her on board. And after that, I'll bring in a mental health nurse, a mental health nurse that is going to come onto the program to talk to us. Normally, we do our programs on um, Saturday. If you know, you know. But this Saturday, I've got something important again 
coming on board. And I don't want to mix it up. I want this one to be a special episode for us to take because it's been a long time I've been on board like this to talk to us about something reasonable. You can see I've been partying in Nigeria, partying, party, party, party after party. So, but now I've got to talk to us about something that can, we can take home, something that can be useful to us because you don't know who you can be helping if you share this program. My name is Ajoke and you're on Prevailing Issues with Ajoke. I'm going to bring in um, the survivor. She's going to introduce herself to us. She was an actress and I think she's still an actress. She's going back to it. She's going to tell us what is in the bag for her and what she went through when she had depression. Has she gone out of it? Is she still going through some episodes of it? She's going to talk to us about it. And Tia Shabi, if you're online... Please, can you request so that I bring you online and then you can come and talk to us about depression. Hello, everybody. Welcome on board to Prevailing Issues with Ajo. Okay. Are you on board now? And Tia Shabi, where are you? I can't find her anywhere. Hello, my guest. Where are you? My guest, come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. Where is my guest? She she ran away from me, eh? Did she? She can't run away. Okay, I'm approving her. Beautiful woman. And she's not ashamed to tell us what she's gone through. Hello, man. Hello, 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 everybody. Hello. Good evening, ma. You're welcome on board. Ekale, so you a joke. Ekaso, ni adugo ti wan bi. <laughs> that's good that's good thank you thanks so much for having me thank you so and just a bit, please can you introduce yourself uh, your name and what you do okay my name still remain aderonke adedola adenishodubosha aka ashabi olorisha well i am an actress i am an health care worker Okay. Okay. So, Auntie Ashabi has introduced herself. Uh, her name is Adi Runke, but popularly known as Ashabi Olorisha. I think she had uh, a show, I mean, a film sometimes in the 1990s, and she said that film, and that film was very, very popular. And so then that has been her name, Ashabi Olorisha. And uh, we've known her for a long time. She's a veteran too, and I can tell you she will tell us about it. She's not ashamed to share her experience of depression with us, and that's why I'm inviting her into this, onto this program. Please, madam, can you tell us uh, what you went through when you had depression? What caused it? What was it like? Okay. Okay. I went through hell. Let me start from where you started. I went through hell when I had depression. Uh, what caused it? Anything can cause depression. Your business can cause depression for you. Uh, your kids being barren can cause depression. Uh, your marriage can cause depression. There is uh, your family issue can cause depression. Like uh, someone you love, maybe your mom or your dad got sick and you don't have money to take care of them and they're so dear to you. You can from there develop depression. So anything, it depends on which one you fall into. But I happen to fall into the marriage aspect of it okay yeah the, uh, the man i gave my life to the man i thought he was my own the man we sleep on the same bed together we do everything together we live together we go everywhere together yes hmm. my man then he was my man then hmm. my man hmm. yes 100 percent then yeah that was you know when you are either a man or a woman when you're so faithful in hmm. your relationship it do happen to a man man do have depression as well not yeah, only with a woman definitely. yes when you're so faithful you're so committed to your relationship and uh you the other side the the other party involved uh uh you were you were so sure of that person you're so sure of him or so sure it's like giving your heart to a man or a woman you know your yes. partner the whole heart belongs to that person the whole heart because you thought uh, he or she was doing the same thing to you, whereas reverse 
uh, is was the case. The case. Mm. So uh, uh, eventually, when you got to know, that means like uh, you've been betrayed. When one is being betrayed, it can cause chronic depression. That mm. was my own case. So, and uh, you know, before you get a chronic depression, you will be seeing the sign. But mm. because of the love has got you blind. Mm. It has got like maybe someone wanted to come and do for you. They are using sweet mouth uh, to talk. Sweet you. words to talk say, yes, to you about yes, love and all that. To you about mm. the business and all that. So what they are telling you will be what you will be believing. You mm. won't even the sign will be coming. You won't you won't listen you won't. to that sign that is coming until mm. when you now got involved into it and you now see mm. that you have been betrayed. Oh, let's work. Mm. So we now set in. And Your network is not a good day. Mm. You mean where I am? When you, yeah, when it's you just, you know. Go on, yeah. man. You, you want me to change my, my position? No, let's wait here and see how it goes because it's okay. just taking a little bit. So when you now got that you've been betrayed, that is when that depression will come in. And when, before the, when the depression come in, you will be feeling it, but you won't, mm. You won't know that it's depression. Maybe you, you just see yourself being bipolar. Any mm. little thing, you tear you get you up. angry. You... Any little thing, then you started to be aggressive. Mm. You started to be nagging. Mm. Depression is coming in, in that mm. sense. It's coming in. Anything that, uh, if that person look at you, just looking at you, you get angry. They get you get you just snap at, at every be, little thing. Yeah, you snap. That person mm. may be looking at you and be pitying you that ah, with all this lady is doing, with all this man is doing, look at the way I'm treating him or mm. treating her. But you won't know. So when all those ones are now being compounded together, then the chronic depression will come in. You will mm. now be hearing some kind of voices. Mm. You hearing Bro, the voices. Ma, in your own case, you were actually hearing voices. Definitely. You know, when I was in England, I work in the psychiatric hospital. Hmm. Psychiatric ward. Name it. Kingston Hospital, Queen Elizabeth Hospital, Birmingham, all the psychiatric hospital. So when they say they're hearing voice, I used to say, what voice are you hearing? I am beside you. No other person beside you. And you say you are hearing voice. Which voice is like when you are treating a psychiatric patient and hmm. they just grab you? or they just throw something at you. It's mm. the voice they are hearing that is controlling them to do mm. that thing. Mm. So when I started, by the time I was hearing those voices, I was, uh, I, I, I've separated from that. From, I, I mm. move out. I was the one that moved out. I move out. So I got a place of mine. I was living all alone. So that is why it's not good at times to, to live alone. alone. But when you have God, and God know you've been faithful, you are honest, you are loving, you are caring, you are something, you are just too nice. Too nice, mm. uh, too nice to be betrayed. Then God will always will in. In any way, God will come into your, to your problem. So mm. I started, I will go to work, but at work, any little thing, then I was working with Amazon. Any little things, I, I you get was, hungry. Yeah, mm. I, 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 I get hungry. So, so, that fateful date was May 28, 2019. There was hmm. a big rain in New York, a big stormy rain with real storm. They have been announcing it like five days before that time. So everybody, there was no, no vehicle on the road. The road, everybody, you have to stay at home. So I was just hearing that voice. Yeah, into the bush into the bush hmm. i've taken my shower i was about the to voice was it. telling you to go into down. the bush into the bush so hmm. i put on my night gown under it i only put on a pants no bra then i just i just get out from my room i didn't lock the room i start my car wow i didn't wear slippers and i was driving straight to the bush I, and i drove into the bush Jesus. but suddenly suddenly when i just it was just like a, a tinkle of an eye v so then i now get out of that car when i eat that tree i now get out of that car 
Hmm. Then I now marched myself to the road. Then I saw a guy parking. And that guy was like, just came to me and said, uh, that guy was a white you okay? Man. Just came to me. Are you okay? Let me call. Can I call the ambulance? Can I call the cops? Are you okay? What's your problem? Where are you going? What's happened? You know, this thing, the devil just wiped off everything on me. And I have to speak properly with that guy. I now told that guy that uh, maybe it was the uh, storm, the wind that threw me into the beach, into hmm. the bush. So that guy now went there, tried to drive my car back. Thank God it was not a very deep bush. So he drove my car out and said, can he pick me in his own car? I said, no, I will drive my car, no problem. So I enter my car and that guy was following me at the back. Hmm. Want to know what we happen next or where hmm. I was You were going, going to drive And to. I drove hmm. back to my house. You know, I have already completed what that the, the voice assignment was telling the, me the, to do. The, the voice assignment. was telling you. Yes. Hmm. So I drove back to my house. And that guy saw me that I parked at my driveway. Then and that he guy left. now that guy now left. When he left, I now you know my door was not locked. Locked. I closed it, but I didn't lock it. Then I now go into my car into my house. Then the moment I enter my house and I lock the door. The next thing I was hearing, I didn't lock the kitchen door, but I locked the main entrance. The next thing, take the knife. Take what? The knife. You know, just because the the voices saw that I escaped that the first kitchen, one. The first hmm. one. Devil take is a liar. Knife. Take the knife. And this is a house I just moved in. So all my things were still uh, scattered. I have 21 different knives. 21 different. So, and they were all packed in a bag, in a black trash bag. And I was using my leg to eat that knife. I didn't know it was knife. God did not let me know it no, was that knife. knife was there. And I was looking for knife. I was looking for knife here and there. I was looking and I was passing that knife. Suddenly, I just had it like a slap. I don't know when. Speak out. Speak out. Speak out. And my phone was in my hand. My phone was soaked. Everything with me soaked. Speak out. Speak out. Then uh, I just started speaking. A call came in. And I wanted to reject the call or press the call. Maybe I now press the recording. I just started talking. I just started talking. I spoke out. The moment I spoke out, but that person that was calling me then that I pressed add that there was something with me. Going on with you. Hmm. Yeah. And the first person I sent you to was even that person. Hmm. So you recorded, like you, you took a phone, you started recording something on the phone. Uh, yes, when I had speak out. And I have to speak out. And I have to speak out. So when I spoke out, yeah, I spoke out and I even went ahead and do my barrier invitation. Hmm. On the barrier voice before notes. death. I did it. I paid for it for the invitation. Barrier before death. Do not donate for my son. Okay, excuse me, ma'am. Just to get something right. You went to the funeral home to pay for your... No, oh. I did the invitation. I rented it all. What? Barrier before death. I want to, I, I, I tag it, uh, uh, the story behind my action. Wow. Story behind my action. So I now started sending it out to people that they should you call. Started sending invitation out to people for your burial for my without barrier. being dead. You know what I have, what I intended doing then was to tell the word my story and maybe the next day kill my take your own your life take hmm. my life so that they will learn from me so but fortunately for me and unfortunately for the devil or for the voices or whatever it was then i have a friend in nigeria kemi wallace for life she's just too dear for me hmm. so she got that message the moment she got that message she started calling people that she knows in U.S. 
and one thing lead to the other everybody everybody they started they started tracking my phone to know where i was because everybody were calling i couldn't pick up phone i was still looking for that night that's why the fact that i spoke out i was still hearing me take the knife get the knife, the get knife. The knife. So, hmm. and i was still looking for it so there was this uh woman uh doctor oh they call a uh, doctor maybe Ola Busu, yeah, Ola, I don't, I forgot her name. Yeah, they always call her Dr. O, Dr. O. She lives in Texas, where I am now. Mm. So, they have an NGO, which that my friend belongs to, that uh, they call it uh, Women in Distress, mm. Center for Women in Distress. So, they started connecting, 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 and uh, Yomi Fabi also tried it because Yomi Fabi was in America then. Mm. So everybody, they started going everywhere. So eventually, Shalashobo, Ale, Jideko, so for all these people, even my phone cannot contain anything. For me, so they all knew about what them. you were going through. The, the, the voice got to them. It went viral. I said it should go viral. So Jideko Soko was crying on the voice notes. Shola Shoba Ali, everybody. So by the time, by the time the ambulance will come, because some people call ambulance, then that my friend, the distress, the center for women in distress, they have already they arrived my house. So mm. they were the one, they were already putting me in their own vehicle when the ambulance come. And they just told the ambulance that everything is under control, that they are taking me away and all that kind of a thing. So that was how the, um, uh, the uh, Center for Women in Distress, they took me away. away. So when they took me to, uh, to, their, uh, to their home, so I met a lot of people. Men, the, uh, depression or suicide attempt, it's not what you should mock people about. To get you don't mock people about it. it, no. Because a lot of people have died just hmm. because they were afraid of speaking out hmm. that people will mock them people will make jest of them they don't want to speak out and they will they will just be keeping silent and that thing will be eating them until finally they will drop them they will commit that suicide hmm. and these people will be the one that will say ah why can't she why can't he speak out why can't he confide in somebody why can't she tell somebody how can he take his life because of a woman how can she take her life because of a man or because of this nursing? what is all that bad about so when i go to that center they don't so give you, you the just for us to recap it's because of the stigma that a lot of people do not speak out they don't and speak they go out through it and, and they, they kill themselves and, and they young kill themselves you know when i go to that center and i met people intellectual people wealthy people hmm. i met a doctor that killed our own boyfriend i met a, a, yeah. a nurse doctor go through it nurse go through it anybody Just can go through it. it anybody can go through it it depends on what take you there some people it will be there they may run a uh, bankrupt hmm. and they, they will fall into depression and when that depression sets in the next thing they will do is either they kill their wife or they kill their they children kill their husband. whatever that boy said them to do hmm. that they will do at that moment hmm. so they started they they did a lot of therapy for me Sonny, welcome on board. Please, I want you to listen to this because I know you are a mental health um, expert too. We are talking about depression and what people go through and, you know, the kind of voices they hear. We are talking to a survivor here and she said she was hearing voices that was telling her to take a knife and all that. So, go on, ma. Yeah. So, so when I got there, they started showing me I was seeing a lot of wealthy people hmm. that some because it was because of their business and when they are in in need he may tell them to kill their children he may tell hmm. them to kill like this there was a woman they were showing recently that they said she locked her two daughters in and she beat them and broke a bottle and started stabbing them on jesus one of christ she 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 was not the one it was what she was hearing. She was hearing. So when I got to that center, 
they gave me a lot of therapy. What is the therapy they are giving you? They will first of all be giving you water. Hmm. Room temperature water. Ordinary water. Ordinary water to cool you down. That is what they will be giving you. And you will see a lot of people around you. They will be talking to you. Everybody will now put you in their, in, in, in their midst. They will surround you. This will tell you a story. That will tell you a story. This one will tell you our own. Everybody will be telling you their own stories for you to learn. I met a, no, a doctor that killed her husband. I met a nurse that killed her husband and her husband's girlfriend. I met a woman that because her husband jilted her and went with another man, that one is even terrible. She had five kids for this man. And she said, the moment that man in them, and she doesn't want to have anything doing with that man. And that voice was telling, get rid of them. And she killed all the five children. Jesus Christ. She killed all the five children just because the voice was telling her to do so. Just Please. because she did not speak out. Because that time will be coming. But ah, people that have said, ah, eat ah. That man will not marry you. Ah, that man will soon dump her. That girl will not marry him. That girl will just take his money and go away. What am I going to tell them? Ah, they will mock me. They will disown me. You don't, you don't have to kill yourself in silence. You don't let it wait to the time of you hearing that voice. voice. I was hmm. lucky. She may not be lucky. He may not be lucky the way I was lucky. Hmm. It's just the grace of God that make me to be lucky hmm. if not the grace of god that make me to be lucky i will not be alive to tell my story now hmm. yeah so the, so they started running around me they don't leave me alone even in my room in my room you they don't want me to sleep on time they will want you to sleep late before so that you will be able to sleep deep were you given any medication? Were you on medication? And I was not given any no, all these NGO people, they don't put you on medication. Hmm. They don't put you on medication. Because, you know, when they put you on medication for depression, you will not get out of it. Wow. Depression need counseling and therapy. The counseling is the most therapy of depression. And being in the midst of people, people keeping your company. Hmm. The moment you are on a medication, even for any terminal illness, that is the that is the medication that will kill that person. Because hmm. the day you forgot to take that medication, that thing will relapse, and it's going to be even worse than how it was before. It's going to so all what one needs is to go out. They will take us out. They drive us to the beach. They will we go here. They will fly us we go to another state we do like a get together party we enjoy ourselves we do this and we're all women no man hmm. in between us Joko Tadi said the first victim is your family what do you mean ma do you mean that you yeah know, the first um, victim is your most family. of the time when this the thing first happens. victim is right hmm. you know it was just because i was living alone i hmm. didn't think my son was living with me then, or I have somebody living with me. You will have that person that we attack. Jesus Christ. It is that person that we attack and that we kill that person. Hmm. It's right. The first person around you will be your victim. No how, no, no how, no how. So gradually that was how they, they took my phone away from me. They hmm. took my phone away from me. The first time they, le they left me after, I think after four days, it, it relapsed again. So I have to go in. I drove myself down. When I was seeing the way I was feeling again, I drove myself down. Then I was like, uh, uh, my son, they should take care of my son. They should tell my son not to cry. They should tell my son to follow the way of God. They should tell my son to do this. They should tell my son that I love him so much. You're already prepared that, that you're going, you know. Yes. So then I have to, because they have told me the sign I will be seeing that. If you see this sign, 
just come back immediately. And I broke hmm. myself because after two days, I was okay. I was washing plates. I was doing this with them. I was dancing. I was teaching them my language. I was doing all that with them. So when it came again, I have to go back there. So and that was when I now stayed there for a very long time. Mm. For a very long time. And it was, it was a good place to be. To, they are on the real rescue mission for mm. all women in this race. If only you speak up. Anytime you see, don't care what people will tell you. Please, I mm. need advice. Please, I need to talk to somebody. Please, I don't know how I'm feeling. Somebody should please get in touch with me. Then speak out. Let that person mock you. Let that person tell you to the world. Mm. It doesn't matter. But mm. your own is to live. Most mm. especially when you have kids with you and you mm. are seeing that sign. Who mm. play speak out. Mm. So that it will not aggravate to the extent of you killing your own children. You'll like be at risk to yourself and woman. risk to others to, around you. Yes. Hmm. That woman now, they are going to sentence her if they didn't sentence her to death. Because her second child is even on, in uh, uh, ICU. Wow. The, other, the, uh, the, the elder one is dead already. She beats them and she started stabbing them. Jesus Christ. That one is not normal. And these are the kids that she has been taking care of. All oh. the road for the past 10 years that her husband left her. Oh, God. But the, it was depression. There is nothing. She may not even know because she was, she doesn't have the knowledge of it. They did not teach them. This is what they're supposed to be teaching. To be teaching on, on a screen like this, on TV, in the school, even they're supposed to be. There was a, a, a family friend of mine that, uh, a brother-in-law's son, 10 years old boy in Nigeria. It, I think it was last year or two years ago again. That that boy commits suicide. Hmm. Because of what? She said her mom, because that boy is the firstborn, she said her mom loves her, the her other, baby her sister sibling. than him. And their hmm. father is here in the US. Their father has not got his paper. So it was their mom and them that they are in Nigeria. And this, this is how this boy, 10 years, go and tie himself and kill himself. Hmm. So it's happened to children as well. So we need awareness, you know, if yeah, more people can talk awareness. about it. Yeah, we need awareness. Mm. We need awareness for people to come out. Don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid yeah. to talk. If you have yeah. a problem, you think you're going through something that is strange in your body. Come oh out and God. talk to people. Speak there is nothing to be ashamed of. I have used my own experience to save a lot of people, not only women, even mm. men. Because mm. after my own, this one will just call me. I have somebody that, that is going through so, 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 like what you had the other time. Then I will call that person. I will speak to that person. I will advise them. Then I will continue calling that person, checking on them. We have to continue calling them, checking on them, checking on them. If you have the time, you take them out, you do this. You are doing it for God. You are not doing it for anybody. Mm. Because that life you save, you don't know what you have done mm. for God. When you save a soul, that life you save. So we need real awareness. We don't need to know what people will say. We say yes. Can I ask you a question about you know you said you sent out voice notes and um, yeah. it went viral. Yeah. After the voice notes, what was it like? Were you stigmatized or how has it been with you since that time? I was not stigmatized at all. Okay. As I am telling you, a lot of men still come to me, but I just said nah, no. There is nothing special about it. We are not it. Network, oh, let Auntie talk. Network. Even, even people come from Maryland, from Chicago, they come to my house, they stay with me for weeks, for days. We go out, we enjoy ourselves. We do. If I feel like, oh, I feel like, because I don't have any love of any man in my heart, I masturbate myself. I don't mess around. Ah, you masturbate. Uh, well, there is nothing bad in you masturbating. Let me tell you, it's good when you masturbate that you go around and be sleeping with young, young, young boys 
and be doing rubbish here and there. So you use dildo. You use dildo. I don't use dildo. I use my hand. What is dildo? God forbid I don't use because I don't know what they use to make dildo. I mean, they, 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 no, it's not a big deal, my sister. Yes, ma. But it's better than uh, uh, whatever you want to say about me now. Uh, no, you cannot say, ah, I saw him with, uh, I saw her with one man. It was that man that, uh, that was, uh, they take her from this one to this hotel to that hotel to not me. Mm. Apart from going to my work. So are you now saying had... because of the fact that you had a bad experience, since that time you never had any other relationship? No, I have relationship, but mm. I don't have a serious relationship. My relationship is just to talk. We talk, we just, we do, yeah, 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 companionship. My darling, they let you my admin. I know you are in a party enjoying yourself in Nigeria. Come back home. Go on. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, like a, a companionship kind of a relationship. Mm. We talk, we just, we do everything, but I am not the type that you will come on video and you say you want to talk to me. I don't pick a video call. Hmm. from any man i don't pick a video call there is no even if you're a man that i am very close to that will talk her to us the moment you call me on video i can block you hmm. I don't even have time it's even good I... for somebody to call you on video if you don't if they don't ask for it okay before you can call me on video we should talk about it together uh, it's yes. not you just calling me on video anyways uh, yes hmm. so being been through depression or been through suicide attempts it doesn't make you a criminal hmm. and it doesn't make you a lunatic hmm. it doesn't mean it's part of mental illness but it's not like a, a mental illness that is not curable hmm. it's not a mental illness that uh you go with Holy drugs. psychosis mm, i don't know much about people you don't go with drugs when you are when you are going through depression you don't go with drugs because the moment you start going with drugs it will just it won't take it out hmm. the only thing that can take it out the best therapy is to get people around you around you, if you are taking hmm. you can and the only drug they will give them is for them to seduce them for them to sleep and the moment they wake up they wake up to that problem start again they wake up to it again hmm. and even this that sleeping tablet will be damaging something in them like their liver like their kidney because it's going to be a very heavy a sleeping tablet that they will give them hmm. so other one i did not go through it okay. and even i came back god brought me back god re redefined remote renovated me and I, when i look at myself i was like oh so this I is can, it can as only be god hmm. as beautiful as this oh my god eh? okay now <laughs> show us let's see you now let's see how you are <laughs> ah oh my self oh my self <laughs> ah that i can just be like this again i was oh my god I give God so you can glory. imagine if said. if this woman in front of us as you know died died as a result of um oh. the depression she had as a result of the fact that she had that depression she had killed somebody in that process she would not be here talking to us she was able to talk she's able to talk to us today because she was able to handle it the way it was supposed to be she had a voice Thank to you, talk, Elijah, talk about out. that song she spoke out and that's why she's where she is today she's encouraging every one of us no matter who you are man or woman if you're going through any episode of anything don't be afraid to seek help my Let sister here you, and you said, get the help you think psychology you are being out. mocked and you are alive than you keeping in silence and die they will still mock your dead when you they die will still they will mock you speak out they and then if you hear people telling you the truth about it, like, look, Mumi, I don't think you, you're right. I think something is wrong with you. Sometimes, as a person, as an individual, I might not know I'm going through something. I, I, yes. I might know that something is not right with me. But anytime anybody tells me I, get, I can get snappy about it, what do you mean by that? You understand. If you think people are telling you 
they are talking to you that you need to seek help, especially when it comes to marriage breakup or having problem with your business, like you said. Anything, heartbreak or anything, you need to seek help because that is the time you're so vulnerable. Anything can happen. Yes. And then you think you're fine, you're okay, I know what I'm doing, I'm okay. You are not okay. Especially when you keep talking and talking and talking, you are not okay. You need help. She yes. was able to get the help because, you know, like she said, she had a relationship problem and that was why she had that problem. And that was what pushed her to depression. So a lot of women are going through it. A lot of men, yes. men are going through and it. And even some women will stay in that marriage and say, ah, what is people going to say? That was what... Oh, she's waking up. That was what kept you in the marriage, in that relationship. Auntie, we can't hear anything again. We cannot hear anything again from your side. We can't hear anything again from your side, Auntie. You are talking, we can't hear anything. So, you know, she's still talking, but we cannot hear anything she's saying. So, you know, a lot of women or men are going through it, but they don't, they won't listen to people when they tell them. We cannot hear you again, Auntie. You know, so when you want, you, 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 because okay, she's gone now, maybe she will come back. So when you know you're going through breakup, especially marriage problem, or business that you think you, you're losing out on, and things are not working well, you need psychologist, you need somebody, you need a counselor to speak to you. Do not do it alone. Do not believe on your own strength. You need people that will talk to you. Because so many of us, I know a lot of women, I know a lot, a lot, a lot of women that I know they are going through stress. But because of the fact of what the society is going to say, has kept them in that, she's, I think she's requesting again. Auntie, you can request again. Mom, do well, sweet. Um, from Lala Call, a Fumi Call, if you're on, that is our mental health nurse. If you're on now, you can request and we we'll bring you on. Auntie has disappeared. I don't know where she went to. You know, a lot of women make that mistake that they don't want to speak out. If a voice is telling you to kill, believe me, you are going to kill without knowing. You are going to kill without knowing. So it's better for you to I come out. I take my position now. Yeah. Because I think you were just breaking up the other, the other time, yeah, the where you were. So, Auntie, she said louder. Auntie Joko, can you okay. not hear us? Can we are loud me? enough. Oh. Can you hear me? I can hear you well. And I okay, guess that's our... good. That's good. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. So, Auntie, mm -hmm. now, yours was because of um, love, love life. Yes. And it yes. went sour, you know, yes. which can happen to anybody. anybody. And, yeah, but you said since then you've had relationships, but now you're not giving your heart out to give. You are just God doing forbid. it like God forbid. Don't God you forbid. think you can still meet somebody that can, you know, make it out that can, you know, correct the the the. I don't even the, want. Ask me. Ask me why I said I don't want. You okay, know, can uh, you tell us when why? you have this thing in you? When you have this thing in you that you are somebody that like to just make sure your man looks good, your man look or your woman look good to your standard, then I don't I don't know my bank account. My bank hmm. card always the man. he knows my pin. I don't know when money comes to my account, he's the one that will tell me that they pay my salary into my account. Hmm. In a year, I will make sure with Tomas shoe. Hmm. People that knows me and him, maybe they are on this show. I will buy everything from head to toe for him to be okay. Hmm. To be okay because when he came back, I still have the picture. If I bring when he came back to me, because he came and he went for five years and came back begging. Oh, you people had separated before yes. and he came back and to he you. came back after five hmm. years. So when he came back, he was like a crazy man. We turned Asher, this man, an old man for that matter. So I started building him up. 
Mm. So, but since this thing has happened and everybody has gone ease and away, right? I was able, even my son then, I cannot concentrate on my son. Oh, he's not the father of your son. Yes. I'll be continue spending on this man. Hmm. But my son understands anything that makes me happy. Yeah. It's okay with hmm. my son. It doesn't bother me. Right? So, but since everybody has done his, his and our way, I was able to help people. Hmm. I have counted a lot of good things God has used me to do in people's life. Hmm. Whereas I didn't mean I was still with him. I would not be you able to have do that all that. To do that. Hmm. I would be spending that money on him to hmm. make him okay, to make his business okay. That is why I said I don't need anybody. The cross God has given me now, let me continue to carry that cross. By mm. helping people, by helping all these children, by making them good, by making them happy. Mm. Because when you help a child, you help a generation. Thing, you know, when you help a child, you help a generation. And That's because it. you have taken that child out of the street. That is because it. Because if you didn't help that child and his or her parents, they are not well to do, that child can end up in the street, can That's end it. up doing uh, any ritual, doing all these. Uh, being an arm robber and all this kind of a thing. But by you investing in that in that child's life, you have every generation. And you so have you do more of life. You do more of charity work now for <laughs> less yes. privilege. Mm. Yes. That is what, all what my life is all about now. Mm. So continue. Modupe said, wearing well gold on pig will not change it from being a pig. So you feel the man was a pig and, you know, it did not change. <laughs> it did not change. And when he came back, I have all my friends, maybe some of them are on this program. I was living in Maryland. There. Even some of my friends, they fought with me. Don't go with him. You are going back with this man. We all know what he did for you in the first day. I said he has to repent. He will go and hmm. meet my friend, Yemiko. Yemisi Ailala. He will go and meet. He will call Yemisi. Yemisi, talk to her now. There is nothing outside. I have come back home now. Hmm. Nothing outside. Help me talk to her. So Yemisi was so eat when I have that problem. Yemisi, uh, today is her birthday. I love her to death. Most times we argue, but I love her to death. Hmm. I love her to death. So Yemisi will be saying, I was the one that pushed Ronke into it. Too. I was the one who, when this man came, he started begging me to talk to Ron Kel. I was the one that put Ron Kel to it. And you know, when you are one man's woman, or when you are one woman's man, man. it happened mm. both sides. Mm. You know, you want to be faithful. You don't even want to look at what that man's doing. If a man can see you, you sleep on the same bed, you left home, you go to work, and the next thing at work is to send a nude picture of a woman that he mm. was having sex with on the video calling to you God. at work. At God. your work. I don't know what happened to me. I just told them at work that uh, there is a problem in my house. I'm going home. I'm my going God. home. So it was so bad to that extent. And the moment I saw it, I just saved it to my eye class. When he screenshot that woman, he wanted to use it to go and take money from that woman. Wow. To, Gigolo, yeah, you, to blackmail that woman. Because was how, a can woman? how can you tell a woman? How can you Gigolo? Yeah. How can you tell a woman to off a dress and you see her nakedness? The next thing for you is to now screenshot. And as and God we have you. it, and as God we have it, his own face was now showing in it. And he didn't know. He said it, he confessed that it was God that sent it to me, not him. Because Jesus. he doesn't know how it was sent. How he did it. Hmm. He, doesn't, he doesn't know. Because when I got home and I told him, he said, no, it's not me. It was my friend in Nigeria. That, that woman, that woman want me to date her. And I don't know if she was sleeping with my friend. And my friend just sent that picture to me. That that was the picture she sent to her. And I said, which friend? Is this not your face on it? You know what he did? He grabbed my phone and deleted it. Whereas I have saved it to my eye. Oh, the cloud. Hmm. So that was when he now dealt <sighs> with me so much. That thing now eats me there. And this is a man I would beg to sleep with me at home. 
and he will say no. And mm. I will be masturbating myself beside him. Sorry, ma. Even so complaining. even while you were together, you were begging him to make love to you. So, yes. And I would be masturbating myself beside him. I didn't lie. God, God will judge me and him if I'm lying. Hmm. A lot of it, things it, people it, go through in this case. Yes. It, a lot of women go through it. A lot of men go through it as well. You woman, mm -hmm. that you have man friend outside, you have the boyfriend outside, and you are stabbing your man inside. And you you won't let your man do the badly. with you. That's bad. Badly. You are treating your man badly because your man is not good on bed. You cannot make him to be good on bed because your wife is not good on bed. You cannot make her to be good on bed. And you will be sleeping outside and the person at home will not even know. And that one will be faithful. A lot of men, they are also faithful. They are hmm. faithful to their wife. But the wife, hmm. the wife, they will go out and be messing around with other men, which is not hmm. good. And that it man will be good. carrying them on their head. That woman hmm. will be carrying her husband on her head. And she won't even know that that man is another thing. Mm. So sad. So sad. Um, I, 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 I hope women are learning and men are learning from this. You understand. We all have issues, marital problems, everything. <laughs> yes. The essence of this program is to enlighten us, is to create an awareness about depression, how it starts, what you can do, and who to seek help from because you might not know who you can help. Please share this program for us. And Shabi, thank you for giving us an insight into what you went through. You've gone through a lot, I must say, because for a woman to stay with a man in the house and um, beside you, you'll be begging the man to, please now, Oga, come and do your duty. And he will say, ah, I'm tired, do, I'm tired, do. Whereas it's at it's time out there, you know, I can I I, I know how it is like. And know. when I came out, when my problem happened, a lot of women called me, a lot of ladies called me on uh, yeah, uh, Facebook Messenger that ah mm. that uh, is my boyfriend, no, he's wow. Studio, and uh, wow. every every night he will put me on video calling, he will be showing me all the house. I don't see any sign that a woman is sleeping with him. He will have wow. packed all my clothes and put it in the closet. Ah. Whereas I will be at work. Working. At work, working for him. Yes, working for him, my sister. Working for him. Life working for him. Man. The day I bought him, the day I bought him iPhone 8X, when iPhone 8X came out, he said this that this is the first time I will be using a brand new phone. He said it out. So now you were doing all these things to please me. him. You were doing all these things to please him, to because make him I happy. Want, I want people to see him beside me and hmm. see that, oh, you know, when you, when you, you, you want to touch up your man or your wife. A wife, man. Hmm. Or your wife to be of the same standard with you so hmm. that you can, have a, yeah, I don't want a man that will live at home then that will be going to party. That I will mm. not be, be proud of going out with. To show off. Mm. To show off. And you know, we in Gebu, in Gebu ladies, you you know, we like to take care of husband. Hmm. You speak people up, need to speak. Modupe said people need to speak to speak up and be ready to help and stop making excuses for their partners. Of course, we make excuses for our partners. Who, uh, uh, of course, we don't want people to... And it is just because of the stigma, I'm telling you the truth. It's a stigma. Women don't want anything, anybody to know what they go through at home. And what they are going through at home, and it shouldn't be. Hmm. It shouldn't be. I did Because I don't it piles up. I am going through hell. It there piles up. It uh, piles up. It piles up. It piles up on you, and the okay. time by the time you want to speak, it explodes one time, yes. and that's when the depression comes. That's when the thoughts come of killing somebody. You understand? So it's it's, it's about speaking out. It's about seeking help on time, especially when you know something is not it's not right with you. Speak out. Speak out. And so, Shabby, let's let's go to your career now. You know, I know you you used to act. You know, like I you know, I was. It's not I, that I used to. It's you that used to act. Ah. I am <laughs> <the> <laughs> okay, Auntie is still an actress. 
I used to be an actress, but I don't act again at all. But Auntie is still in the industry, and um, we want to know what's on the ground for us. It's been long we saw her, so we want to know what she has in stock for us. I I, I released a quiet storm two years ago, and it wow. really hit the market. Ijiroro, quiet storm. <laughs> Ijirongo, Quiet Storm. Mm. Quiet Storm. I'm going to share it after this I'll show again. Okay. People should go and watch it. Ijiroro, Quiet Storm. It okay. was a bomb. And what I have now, the reason why I am in Texas, in Dallas now, is Ala Pandede, Obirika, one woman. Ala okay. Pandede. So, last two years, it was two years ago you had the last movie you did. For yourself, yes, it was your own yeah. movie, yeah. yeah. And the name was uh, Ijiroro. 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 Is it on YouTube? It's on YouTube. Yewa TV on YouTube. Yewa TV on YouTube. Ijiroro. Yewa TV on YouTube. She said she did one two years ago. You can watch it on in there. Ijiroro. Ijiroro. Do we? I'm not good in oh, that, but it's Ijiroro. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so um Ijirongo, do you understand why i'm talking about what she, the kind of what she's doing at the moment now you can see she's still working at her age she's oh. in the u.s she's working i'm in texas as... now to premiere Allah Pandede tomorrow Allah Pandede will be we'll talk about that Allah Pandede. we're just talking about what you've gone through and you have not left what you're supposed to do. You are moving forward. Because you have depression does not mean that's the end of life for you. You know why the life always ends for some women? And they will become a, a, a crazy person, a lunatic of the highest order. When you have a breakup with a man, it depends on the friends, the company you keep, the people that comes to your age. Then they will be taking you to party, hmm. to drink. You start smoking. Hmm. You start picking that up habits that, that are life not yours. Been destroyed. That life is hmm. being destroyed totally. Hmm. When you have depression and you think by you smoking cigarettes or taking or drugs, taking drugs to stimulate hmm. you or drinking alcohol, that is what will make you get your senses back. It's a big lie. In my hmm. life, I've never it wasn't smoked. it. In my life, mm. I've never drink alcohol. I mm. don't even take uh, soda. We call it soda here. They call it mineral. Oh, minerals. I don't mm. drink it. I don't drink tem room temperature water. I drink warm water. Mm. Warm water. Even in Nigeria, as us as Nigeria is. Let's take water. This is water. Warm water. <laughs> whenever I'm going to Nigeria, I go with my flask. Mm. That I have my insulated uh, vacuum bottle that I have my hot water there that I drink. Mm. So all this one, because the cigarettes you are taking, the drugs you are taking, the alcohol you are taking, they're also damaging that brain. Mm. And the brain, depression has already eat that your brain. It and you are adding it. more to it. Hmm. Adding more to it. Yeah, look when you start up on injury. <laughs> yes, and that is what has been helping me. That okay. is what has been helping me. It okay. makes me even stronger. Okay. I work so much. I am a workaholic. And okay. when I decided to enjoy, I'm not a party type, but I can dress to kill my sister. Don't so those me. are your own therapies, you and know. That's my own therapy. I want to because do you I want you go you enjoy yourself by dressing up, wearing what you feel. <laughs> suits you it's yes. not because you're not dressing for any man you're I'm dressing for yourself oh my mm -hmm. god mm -hmm. so you can see auntie has short hair with uh, oh, coloring so, <laughs> <laughs> so now um let's talk about our film premiere she had Who is two years ago for my phone number a man or a this, woman oshila yeshola oshila yeshola why are you asking for a number you want ah. to do do you want no, to do do? Are you a man? Me, she says she doesn't do again. <laughs> she doesn't do do again. She likes <laughs> to use her fingers. Uh -uh. Did you not hear? Hey, you Take your time. <laughs> she doesn't want banana. 
She doesn't want banana again. You people, please carry your banana and go. Don't come and do cover cover for her. I'm not the type that will be calling all these young boys and all that. I mean, I don't do that. I don't do she that. She doesn't do baby. She doesn't want to call baby. Baby. And you break her heart again. Please leave her alone. And she doesn't want banana. She doesn't want cucumber. She wants... Uh, <laughs> I want my brain. And I want she wants her brain. She wants her sanity intact. You know how many children I've got? I got one biological, but and I, and I have a lot of adopted children. Adopted ones, you and see? And I do gloriously well, so, so I confess I don't need Don't go back to Sonny. My sister said yes, just like me. Of course, you know. Oh, oh she, oh, she lay here. You said you're a man. You're a man. Ah, she won't give you a number. You are shall You want to come and cover and see. Leave her alone. She's not doing. So... Let's talk about the film that you, you are in um, in Texas, Texas to yeah, premiere. Texas. Yes. Okay. She's in Dallas, Texas now uh, to premiere another movie, which is coming up very, very soon. You are from Ijebu. To tomorrow. I'm from Ijebu lady. I don't understand. Are you, are you a lady? She says she's from Ijebu, so I don't know if she's a lady or a man. Anyway, if he's he or she is a lady or he or she is a <laughs> anyway, um, so our uh, film, Auntie, can you tell us what is in that film and when do we expect to you see, see what's the premiere all about? You see this I don't know. Maybe you have to interview Balaji Oscar one of these days, so I will connect you with him. It was your okay. Someone say I am watching Ijiro right now. So ah, that's good. Know, Thank you for watching it. It was my son. It was him that just called me and started giving me that story that mommy, eh, I, I dreamt about this story. Then we started putting it that way. And by mm. the time we called Bolaji Oscar, they now twisted this story. I don't know what is going on with this story. Oh my God. Thank you. Okay. Oh, my hot water. You see my hot water and lemon. And me too, my cold water. <laughs> They now to say this story oh, before you know this boy Oscar. When you give him a okay, story, she said she's a lady. Good, okay. welcome, ma'am. Mm. When you give Oscar a, a story, then he will, he will go and do research about that story. When we mm. gave him that story, he now go and do research, consult all these elders, and they now told him that there is one old Wifa. That go mm. with that story. That how did he get that story? He now said it's a young guy, a young that guy dreamt that about it. Story, that mm. dreamt about it and say ah, that boy must be no. That God is revealing something to that boy. So mm. that was how they now give us narrated the Odufa, and that mm. Odufa is Alapandete. And the Alapandete is a bed. A bed. Eh yeah. Eh yeah. Mm. Which happened to be one way, one way traffic bed. I mm. will say about that. Okay. Because so we, 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 we can't wait to have the film. So you're premiering the film tomorrow in Ta yes. Texas. So what, what is expected? What do we expect to see in the premiere? Ah, you will see me when you will see by it's going to be live tomorrow night. Okay. And uh, by Saturday, you'll be seeing everything on social media. You'll be seeing, but it's fully supported by GTEX Home. Oh, GTEX Home. Green and Smart Homes. Yes, okay. fully supported. So uh -huh. you want to deal in uh, real estate, just consult. You can follow GTEX Home on Facebook, on Instagram. You can inbox me. You want to buy land, they sell, we sell land. Auntie is doing the follow on my program. Don't do it follow are you paying me? Don't do it follow on my program. You text uh, uh, Don't Okay, do yeah, the one is there is fully supported <laughs> by GTEX Green and Smart Home. Okay, it's fully supported by GTEX. I bought a property, let my property, let it get con uh, completed. Then everybody will come and go. go, go no go. problem. When your property is out, then we can, you know, we can. <laughs> yes. If yes. you want to call into the program and um, 
tell us what you think about what we've discussed about depression, our fame, our life, and what she's been impacting people on. You can give us a call on plus four four seven four six six two five seven three eight five plus four four seven four six six two five seven three eight five women men that are going through domestic violence women men that are going through depression please give us a call let us celebrate talk about it um i got an email uh, a, uh, a text message now that my mental health knows still she's still in the office and she can't make it again so we're not going to bring in a professional again so we'll just round it up when auntie goes um if you can call in on plus four four seven four six six two five seven three eight five and give us your opinion about what you know about depression and what is your advice to auntie or anybody going through it or you know just a general compliment or comment on what she has talked about here so auntie me Enjoying until long, until long, enjoying until long, okay. Enjoying until long, okay. When they enjoy until long, I am enjoying. No, why would I? I'm waiting. They are taking me out to Red Lobster now. Wow, Red Thank Lobster. You. Hey, yes. can't wait to come to America. Ah, yes, I fell off the goosey get lobster. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. What if I can you funny dollars in your latter on today, man? Oh, somebody yeah. said she did a Shabiolori Shah movie with Lit Aladiago Mire, Yanda yeah. like Buki Black, and so yeah. such a great actress. Yes, she was a great Thank actress, you. and I think she is still. We're going to watch her. I'm, after the program, I'm going to go and watch Ijiroro. Ijiroro. Ijiroro on Yewa TV. On Yewa TV. TV. Ijiroro. I'm a logo. Let's go and see her in action again. We just don't want to see her in action on Facebook. We want to see her doing a thing, what she do, does best. You understand. So we're going to watch her. And then for her to give us what she's giving us, I'm so, so impressed about it. And I think she's giving you women or men the voice to speak out. You know, it's just when you see somebody else coming out to talk about there what There has never doing. been any new thing under the planet. What hmm. that happened to me has happened to somebody. And it's still hmm. going to happen to somebody. What you are going through, someone has gone through it. So don't hmm. keep yourself in silence. Speak hmm. out. Speak out. Speak out. Speak out. Speak out. Speak out. Speak don't mm. care what people will say. Let them mock you. Let them do anything. Let them uh, blackmail you. Let them do anything for you. But you need to get your life together and speak out. And, and speak, speak out. out. Get your life together and speak out. And speak out. out. Okay. The number again is plus four four seven four six six two five seven three eight five. But me, I need to go by now. We are, we are okay I, because the program is all about you thank you all for watching because i am not going to stay longer i don't do program today i did this special program because i know somebody is going through this and when auntie said she wanted to talk about it i was glad because i needed somebody to listen to this you understand depression is real mental health is real you don't know who you'll be saving you can please share this program after watching it anywhere you meet this program share it for us on youtube on facebook anywhere because you might be saving a life you might be saving a life or lies if you don't know uh, thank you so much Auntie Asha we appreciate thank you, thank you for coming for shedding more light to us about depression and how you went through it and how you got through it and what where, where you are now at this point thank you so much you, you have anything thank to say you to everybody for saying so. Thank you, thank you. God bless you. Bye, 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 bye. Have a lovely time. Bye, bye. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, at least we got somebody. It's still happening, my dear. Nothing to be ashamed of, of course. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching with me. Um, I'm so glad we we're able to get somebody that was able to share our own experience with us please 
please, please, anywhere you are. You heard what she said. She had a problem because of love. Love. Oh, 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 or if you can turn your head to something else, what you don't ever expect yourself to do, you will do it when it comes to love. Because when you've given your heart to a man or a woman and this thing happens, you don't know what can happen to you. The next moment, you are just finished. It's like your life is totally finished and you're starting all over again. I don't know what you're going through, but if you're going through depression, please speak to somebody. Consult a, consult, a consultant. Consult a counselor consult a psychologist you need help you need help you need help do not stay alone without seeking for help do not stay alone without seeking for help thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you people on saturday at four o'clock on our usual program like i said i had fun in nigeria Niger sweet Niger doom you know but i'll be gisting you on saturday about my Niger trip, how it went, and what I did. All the good things, all the bad things, I'll just you. But please do not tell anybody if I told you. Thank you so much, everybody. See you on Saturday at 4 p.m. Bye.